Hello friends, I am Ashish Thorat. This is my first video tutorial on Microsoft Desktop Server. In this video, we are going to talk about the steps that we need to take to start using Microsoft Desktop Server 2010 VHD, that is the virtual hard disk. First, let me tell you from where we can download the Desktop Server VHD. The Microsoft Desktop Server 2010 VHD is available on Microsoft Download site. The link for the same is present below the video. The download is of approximately 10 GBs. Once the downloaded files are extracted, they take up size of 25 GBs. Please note the system requirements for using the VHD. It is necessary to have a Windows Server 2008 R2 operating system with Hyper-V. Hardware assisted virtualization is needed to be enabled. You will not be able to use this VHD in your Windows 7 Pro or Windows 8 or Windows 10 machines using some virtualization software like VMware Workstation or Oracle VirtualBox. This will only work on Windows Server 2008 R2. If you have figured out a way to use the VHD in other operating systems, then please feel free to update the steps in comments below. If you are a student, you can get Windows Server 2008 R2 for free from dreamspark.com. This is the home page for that site. This is an initiative by Microsoft for students only. To get your download after logging into the website using a student ID, go to the servers and application section, scroll to the end and you will be able to see your required server. Now coming back to the files that were extracted. The extracted file contain the following items. The VHD file is present in the virtual hard disk folder. This file takes up the maximum size. The other word docs contain Microsoft software license and some details of VHD usage and Hyper-V configuration details. Once the extraction is done, if you are not already logged into your Windows Server 2008 R2 machine, please log in. Open Hyper-V Manager. For doing that, click on Start, point to Administrative Tools and then click Hyper-V Manager. Hyper-V is now opened. From the Action pane, click Import Virtual Machine which is located on the right hand side bar in the Hyper-V Manager. Click Browse and select the folder in the Import Virtual Machine pop-up screen. This is the folder that you need to select. Click Import and then click Close. I have already imported the VHD on my Hyper-V. For more configuration details, you can refer to the readme.docx file that was extracted. This is that required file. Now right click on the virtual machine and click start. The virtual machine will get started soon. It is now getting started. You can go to view. Select full screen mode. After a couple of minutes, you will get the login screen. The password for the administrator login is PASS at the rate WORD1. You will be logged in to the VHD now. This is the best of VHD. You can go to the start menu and check all the installed programs. You can see that Desktop Server is installed on this machine as well as the required installation of SQL Server are also present. For testing purpose, I have opened a sample desktop project to test the readiness of the VHD. I have completed the first exercise from devlab1.doc. In this lab, as per instructed, there are tasks related to copying links from one desktop solution to another, moving links between pages in the same solution, 
copying functoids from one bistock solution to another and creating new links. Now we will go and check a sample message that we will use to test our map. This is the sample of the sales order message sent by external customer. This is the sample message that you will use to test the map you created. To test the map in Solution Explorer, right click on the map that we have edited and then click on Test Map. In the output window, while pressing Ctrl, click the link on the third line to open the test map output file. We can see that we have got a proper output. As you can see, the Bistock server in this VHD works like a charm. So go ahead and start using the VHD on your machines. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.